Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome to yet another episode of the Model Railway News. Unbelievably, we're here in November already, so it seems as though time is still flying at that same unbelievable rate. However, we're now well and truly on the build-up to Christmas, which means there are lots of exciting new products in stock and also some product updates and developments to talk about as well, so we're going to jump straight in. As always, I will start with Hornby, who have some new stock to talk about. Here's one thing that I've been following for quite a while, but I don't think I've ever talked about on these videos before at least. It is the Family Fun Project. Now, this is quite an interesting, relatively new idea whereby you can purchase an entire complete model railway, which includes your loco, all your rolling stock, your scenery, so that's your buildings, trees, uh, even people, I think. So what a truly fascinating idea that is. I can see there being some pros and cons to that. I mean, on the one hand, for people who are just starting off and they have absolutely no idea what they're doing, it's a really good thing to have everything you could possibly need packaged together so you don't have to forget anything. And there's also obviously instructional videos and presumably some other sort of instructional material as well, which tells you exactly what to do with all of this stuff. However, it does limit your choices a little bit, which in turn will limit your creativity. And I mean, I can see us going to exhibitions a few years down the line and seeing a hundred identical layouts or something. But either way, a very interesting idea. And check out this, there are some extension packs as well. And some of these really get me excited, even though I haven't bought the base pack. Yeah, there's some really cool stuff, uh, which of course include extra locos, extra rolling stock, extra track and that sort of thing. So it's very cool. The base price for the sort of starter pack, I don't exactly know the, the proper name, I should probably have looked that up, is £180, so quite a lot, yes, but uh, don't forget it's not just a train set, it includes all the scenery and all the other stuff as well. So if you want to check those out, I've got links down in the description. There's also been some other exciting products that have just come into stock, uh, probably most memorably is this, a new A4, obviously the A4s are nothing absolutely new, but this version is, it's in the experimental purple, as you can see, which has fascinated me for a long while, really, really tempted to get one of those because they look fantastic. This year's Santa's Express has come into stock, which is pretty interesting. Obviously, Hornby have those every year. However, there have been a few changes this year, namely with the wagons. The loco is a slightly different colour, I noticed as well. But we have the blue presence wagon here, which looks very lovely, quite like that. And also the Santa's sleigh box van, which is cool. So no reindeers this year, it is in fact the sleigh. So it's worth picking that up if you're you know, a collector of the Hornby Christmas items. Also, Hornby's latest batch of the Coronation Scott coaches have come into stock, and obviously that's really important for those who have purchased the Coronation Class locos that Hornby have been releasing over the past year. Finally, some rolling stock to run with those. These are actually okay, they're only sort of railroad-esque coaches, there's not a huge amount of detail on them, but the beautiful Coronation Scott livery makes them perfect if you've got nothing else to run, so keep an eye out for those. This month's edition of the Hornby Engine Shed blog has had quite a lot to say as well, some interesting stuff to see there. First of all, some updates on the 2019 TTS vent van, uh, a bit of a sound demonstration. I think this is the first time we've actually heard some of the sounds that the wagon produces. Here's a little preview now. So pretty interesting, some sounds that I don't think were present on the previous TTS van, which is pretty good. So let me know, they're only 40 quid. Uh, should I buy one and review it? I'm quite interested now, I've put it off, but I think it would be worth looking into it. Okay, next up is quite a lot of sound demonstrations actually from Hornby this month because they've done one for their Hogwarts Castle loco as well, which is due to come out. Obviously the TTS version, and again there are some sound demos for that, I'll play you a little bit. There you go, so they're supposed to be arriving soon, before Christmas I think, so definitely book your ideas up if you want to get one of those before Christmas. I think I'm writing saying they'll be coming before Christmas. Okay, next up they showed some samples of a loco that I'm really, really interested in, and it is this. Well, it's not exactly this, this is a much older version of the model that Hornby are due to bring out, but it is the Dean single. Now, what is so interesting about this? Well, the original model was released in 1961, so we're talking very nearly 60 
60 years ago. I think that makes it the oldest model in Hornby's range that is still being produced. Now don't get me wrong, it doesn't have the original Triang chassis on it like this one does, which is why I'm really interested to see how they run, because I've never actually tried one of the updated single wheeler chassis from Hornby. But as you can see, it looks really nice and crisp in the updated, slightly more modern livery. And a feature that I've noticed only now on the samples is that it in fact has a painted cab. Now the cab's exactly the same as the original Triang one in terms of the moulded detail, but it now appears to have some painted detail inside there, which is absolutely fantastic for a railroad model. For me, that seals the deal. I'm really looking forward to getting one of these and giving it a try. Really looking forward to that. I'm not 100% sure when those are due in stock, but if we've got sort of painted samples, it shouldn't be terribly long. Whether it's going to be as soon as before Christmas or not, I'm not licensed to say, of course. But let's hope so, because I'd love to do a review of a modern one and possibly even compare it to my much older version. Next up then, there have been a few new items from Backman, which are now in stock from your favourite retailers. Most notably is the O3s that I mentioned last month. Apparently they are now available, as are the new batches of Class 20s and Class 37s. Now, one thing that I've been really looking forward to and been keeping an eye out to try and get an update on is the NER Class E1 that Backman are supposed to be bringing out. Now, I thought I'd heard that it was coming out in November. However, there's been no real sign. I've not been able to pick up any update whatsoever. Backman don't have any social media. They don't have a Facebook page or a Twitter page to my knowledge, so they're not posting updates there. The page for the Loco on Backman's website literally has no information on it. It has the price, the product number, and a photo, uh, so not a lot to see there. However, when you Google the product and you see the link to Backman's website, you can see that it says in stock. Now, if you click the link, it just takes you to the Backman website page and it doesn't say in stock on there. So whether it's true or not, who knows? It could be though. So if they are indeed in stock from Backman, it shouldn't be very long until those are in stock with the retailers. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. I do have one pre-ordered, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be reviewing one soon. Officially speaking though, I can't tell you when they're coming. It might be soon, although it might not be, so let's just wait and see, shall we? Next up then, a bit of an update from Hattons because there have been some announcements, or I should say uh, additions really, to their previously announced ranges. First of all, they have revealed five new liveries for their upcoming Class 66s. Do check those out in the link below if you're interested. However, I will show you just one of them, my absolute favourite, and it's this one, the GBRF Royal Scotsman livery. How awesome does that look? And the best part of it is, now don't quote me on this, but I think they're due to be released at the same time as the main lot of 66s. So we're talking sort of December, January time. So not long to wait for those either. So very exciting to see even more Class 66 liveries from Hattons. I'm starting to wonder how many more there can possibly be. They've also apparently received many requests from customers to see a full break version of their newly announced Genesis coaches. And Hattons have duly responded by producing a full brake variant for every single livery that they'll be producing, which is very awesome, and they are the same price, incidentally. Finally, from Hattons, they're doing a bit of a winter sale. There's some pretty exciting bargains to be had. You might as well check out the range if you're interested, but I picked up one of these, a 121 bubble car from Dapol, um, and it cost me £89, which is like a fraction of the RRP, so I really couldn't resist. Uh, let me know, should I review this? I'm thinking of it. It might not be till next year now, but I couldn't resist picking one of these up, so really looking forward to seeing what that's like. As of now, I've not had it out of the box, so it will remain a surprise until I decide to review it. Next up, a bit of an update from Helgen on their upcoming Class 86 models. They've shown some of the artwork for, I think, all of the different liveries that they're going to be producing of the model. At the same time, they've included some unpainted engineering samples of the same model, which are really looking pretty good, as well as an actual decorated sample, although it's worth bearing in mind that this apparently was just hand-finished, so it's no way indicative of the final product, but it is interesting to see how those are coming along. They're not due until summer 2020, so presumably there's some more tweaking to do before they go into production but it's good to see that they're coming along due for release a little bit sooner are the class 27s uh, these are obviously a lot further along you can see here that these are fully painted samples which are supposedly due in december slash january so not very long to wait at all on those Next up then, a little bit of a teaser. Now, I'm sorry for doing this. I don't want to tease, really. Uh, but I had a message from Keith of KR Models. I'm not 
100% sure whether I should be saying this, but I'm not going to reveal anything crucial. Basically, the message is that there's going to be a new product announcement at Warley. Uh, can't say any more than that. I will be making posts about it on the day of Warley, which is the 23rd off the top of my head. I'll be confirming it later, uh, but exciting stuff. So keep your eye out for that. Since I finished filming this video, there has been another major product announced, and so I've set everything back up, as you can quite clearly see, so that I can film it. Okay, that's not entirely true, but the point is, Rails of Sheffield, in partnership with Helgen and the NRM, have announced a new gas turbine locomotive, not the same one that KR models are producing, it is the 18,000 class, I think you would call it, the prototype being 70 years old this month, so presumably this is being done to celebrate the anniversary. Now, the model is already at an advanced stage, apparently. The design work was completed over the summer, and the tooling apparently is now underway, with the first samples expected in early 2020, with the estimated delivery being in late 2020. So, quite a quick turnaround with this one. There are going to be three versions produced, including a BR Gloss Black with silver trim, which looks absolutely fantastic. I think that one's going to get my vote, actually. It looks really wonderful, that one. But there are two BR-lined green versions on offer as well. Pre-orders are open now, so if you're interested, head over to Rails of Sheffield's website and uh, pick yourself one up. Finally then, one or two major events that are coming up. I had an email from Mark for letting me know about the first one. It is the New Forest Model Railway Society. They have an open day on Saturday the 24th of November, so if you're in the area, check that out. Of course, the other major event is, of course, Warley, the uh, NEC exhibition, the probably, I think it is the biggest model railway exhibition in the UK in the year, isn't it? So that is going on on the 23rd and 24th of November at the NEC Birmingham. I'm actually going as well, so it will be really, really good. Really looking forward to that. And with that, I think that is everything of note I had to talk about. As always, if there's something I've missed and you think I ought not to have done, do let me know down in the comments, as well as your thoughts, of course, on the rest of the news and what you're excited about, what you're not excited about, and possibly what you'll be buying, if, we're, if you're willing to share that classified information. For the time being, though, I hope you have a great November. Thank you very much for watching, of course, and I will see you again very soon with some more videos. Take care of yourselves, folks. I'll see you next time.